Right. Let's be on our merry little way. Simple pleasures. Astinian stands in silence, a grim expression on his face. You are ready, then. In that case, let's head to Palakistan. No doubt Vitra is waiting for us. Am I lazy? Yes. It's 60 gil. I will gain how many gil from this quest? 886. It's profit. Right. Hey, Vitra. Rest easy, for all is well here. Young Matsya returned with the babe safe in his arms. Owing, owing to a warm bed, the girl hath already begun to regain her strength. Less joy, uh, joyously received was word of the mother and father's fate, as well as that of their transformed neighbors. How many children of Thavnir must we lose to this calamity? Mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, every death another void that can never be filled. We who survive them must carry the weight of their memory as we strive to regain a semblance of what we have lost. Parasath and Mevin's babe is a child of Thavnir as well. I thank you for returning her to us safely. Oh, most great and merciful worm, I have not the words to express my gratitude. They say that it, were it not for you, brave Matsya and the child would have been lost to us forever. Long had I heard the rumors that a mighty dragon had forged a pact of friendship with this trap, but never would I have expected such a kind and gentle soul. Hey, this song, this song is making me cry just as much as, um... Eternal Winds and Tomorrow and Tomorrow Day in Shadowbringers. I, I, every time I hear this song, I'm gonna, I'm starting to tear up. And I hate this. Truth in part, but not in whole. I am Vitra, and for years uncounted, hath this serve, this isle served as mine abode. An isle I have ruled over as a trap, with Awahan as my loyal servant. Are my ears to be believed? You were this a trap all along? Nidana, what are you doing here? <gasps> Nihana, hi. It's been a while. I heard from the Radiant um, that you had gone to help the people of Alakistan in their time of need. And so I and several of my colleagues from the Great Work came to offer our services. The alchemists have already brewed up some potions for Mevin's daughter. But enough about us. You and your role are the far greater enigma. If you were the truce to trap all along, could it be that young Varshan was created to serve as your emissary? Thou didst suspect the boy was but a simulacrum? A rumor has uh, circulated for many years around the High Crucible that our most skilled alchemists were once commissioned by the Satrap's family in secret to fashion a mammoth indistinguishable, indistinguishable from a living boy. Looking at Varshan with that knowledge, I simply put two and two together. I was not alone in drawing this conclusion, but like me, they no doubt recognized that the Satrap was using the simulacrum to work more closely with his people, and decided not to press the issue. I had always assumed one of Awahan's associates was manipulating it from afar, though the truth is far more, uh, is indeed far more surprising. Oh my god, that fucking lightning. It is an honor to meet you in the flesh, Master Vitra. Pray allow me to express my gratitude. If you are not... Uh, if you had not believed in and given unto us your scales, I do not know where we would be. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. 
Because thou and thy fellow alchemists have fashioned the means to unmake the towers. You are the saviors, not only of Rod's Khan, but the star. Far too kind you are, Master Vitra, but the star yet wants for salvation. Once more will my colleagues and I commit the, uh, commit the knowledge and resources at our disposal to the mission of aiding the people in this, in this their darkest hour. So it seems this place is in good hands. I would return to see how Razatan fares. What will you do, Scions? I worry for the survivors we met at Perusa. Shall I pay them a visit before making our way back? In that case, might I ask a favor? Nothing too burdens, uh, burdensome, I promise. This way. she's gonna ask. Needs to sit just a little bit longer, I'd say. In the meantime, I was hoping I might ask you a few questions. The red sky, these terrible beasts? What in the name of the sisters is happening here in Thaphmeer? Yep, the final days. Oh my, that's rather a lot to take in. It would seem the situation is even more grave than we suspected. Thank you, my friend. My colleagues and I will use your knowledge to see if I can, oh sorry, if it can further our own research. And with that, here we are. A pot of piping hot chai, brewed from my own secret recipe of spices and tea leaves, together with hearty helpings of rich milk and pure sugar. <gasps> I've made enough for everyone in the village. Might I trouble you to deliver a few cups? The drink has medicinal properties then. Not in the least, the ingredients are quite ordinary. It's so very tasty though, and has a way of lifting the spirits. The spicy aroma and distinctive sweetness of chai is a simple everyday pleasure on our island. Sometimes the best medicine is the simplest. A lovely sentiment, Nidhana. By all means, allow us to assist. While you lot distribute hot beverages, I'll do a sweep of errant beasts to slay. Far less arduous task, no doubt. When you finish, look for me at the Wakeful Tirana. Okay. Mm, okay. Hi there. Hmm? Wait, I know you. You were the one who saved us from those beasts uh, back at the temple. We're not for you, well. Let's not even think about that. At times like this, we mustn't dwell on what might have been, but look to the future. And what future awaits us? How can Rods and Han hope to recover from this? Most of my friends are gone, and I don't know where to turn. Have some tea. A cup of chai? Well, if you insist. <sighs> that aroma has a way of clearing the mind. Come to think of it, we faced our fair share of trials in the past as well. And no, ma no matter how hard the times, we've always come together as people united, one day at a time, one step at a time. But that is all any of us can do. Yes. Back to work. Once I finish this cup, thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I just want to be left alone. My best friend and I, we fled the village together. One of the beasts took him and it was all I could do to run. All the while I could hear this monstrous voice screaming my name. I'm so sorry. Huh? This is for me? Oh. We used to drink chai together often. Shared stories of receiving cups after a hard day's work. Thank you, friend. The pain may never pass, but I must press on all the same. Where is memory? If we're we, we must remember. Yeah. Chocobo keep. Give me in the chocobo. Mm. 
look at them all lazing about, knowing full well the beast might strike again at a moment. Do they not realize their lives are in danger? Well, I for one intend to survive. I'm too young to die. Yes, I'll leave this island behind if I must, but but where would I go? Is anywhere is anywhere safe these days? Hey, hey. Have some tea. Relax. It's gonna be okay. A cup of chai? Can't you see I have more important things to worry about? No, no, you're right. It's precisely in times like these that we must strive to remain calm and steady. I do believe I'll visit the Elder and see what needs to be done. If there are any ways I can aid my village and my friend, I will do it. Yeah! Thank you for delivering the chai, Avery. Did it help to lift the villagers' spirits? Mm hmm That is heartening to hear indeed. The final days show no signs of abating. But that is all the more reason that we must try to keep our composure. Our lives have been forever changed. The people we have lost will never return to us. These tragedies will long weigh on our hearts. But we have the capacity to live without with our suffering. To carry the agony until we too join the fallen to death. It is not a surrender, but a recognition. For it is only in acceptance that we find the strength to move forward. Holy shit, dude. Under his wing, Matsuya is eyeing you as if there is something he wants to say. As you have finished your deliveries, may I talk with you for a moment? I was curious to know, what has become of Nevin and Karasov's remains? Uh, me and Alize buried them together. Oh, thank you, friend. Surely they will be able to rest peacefully by each other's side. I and the people of Kalakistan will perform the rites as soon as we are able. As for the child, it will not be easy for her growing up without her parents, but I promise to do what I can. Once she is able to eat solid food, the fish I catch will help nourish her. Yeah! Apologies for that uh, noise shuffling. That is me adjusting my headset because ow. Well, we finished uh, delivering the chai. I do hope everyone has a piping hot cup. I could, I could almost believe there's a, there's magic at work. See, uh, seeing how their attention fades with every sip. Let us pray that Palakistan has seen the last of those transformations, at least for now. We are still at risk, as every village in Davnir like is not. Still, I trust we can leave this place in the care of our friends from the Radiant and the High Crucible. Shall we, shall we return to Razadhan? By all means, do not let us keep you further. There are still many who, who have need of your wisdom and strength to deliver them from this terrible calamity. And I will do whatever I can as well too. I will bring rations and supplies from Akali. We have plenty to spare. Then let us find Astinian and be on our way. Where did he wander off to again? Sorry. Uh, the Wakeful Tirana? Near the bridge to Radzathan, as I recall. Very well then. Okay. Oh god. Side quests. Okay. Um, oh, I was gonna teleport to uh, Radzathan, but... We can't. Or, or it's not in Razathan. And we also can't teleport to Razathan, anyways. <sighs> what is over here? The burning field. Justinian. Where art thou? Oh, there he is. Hello, my good sir. 
Alpha knows me everything. Full glad am I to hear that people are safe. Likewise, you will be pleased to know that I found no evidence of lingering beasts in the jungle and ruins, so it seemed you finished off the last of them. Trying times yet lie ahead for the people of Thavnir. Fortunately, they have a wise and benev benevolent set trap to shepherd them through. Speaking of which, I received word from Thancred not a short while ago. He awaits our return to the city of... Sorry, the city on... Alz... Alzdal? Asdal's path? I... I... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, can we like walk through now? Oh, we can. Okay, they removed uh, the, the blockade. Oh, no preference. No preference, just just toss me into uh, one of the instances, please. Any will do. Given the skies, it's all too easy to fear the worst. I am pleased to report that we've succeeded in quelling the threat here in the city. The beasts have all been felled and the citizens are safe for now. I've also heard from the Radiant that an important proclamation will be made in the city square, though they said no more than that. Might you have any idea what this is about? Mm hmm? So, Vitra is finally coming out from behind the curtain. I suppose we too should hear what he has to say. To Meg Megadura then. But before that, it would appear the word of the assembly has not reached all the citizens. If anyone along the way seems unaware, we'd um, best enlighten them. Too scared to go out and look. Oh, that's a relief. I thought one of those beasts was gonna eat me. I wonder where Rasharan is. He's the slowest runner. I hope he got away. Oh, he could be in the, in the. He could be with the other people from the palace. Maybe I'll see him in the square. Uh, yeah. Oh, I have to go this way now. I swear to you, my flesh tastes absolutely terrible. I am not a monster. Oh gods, what are you doing scaring me like that? If we're not quiet, those beasts will find us. Actually, nope. The square, you say? But that's where the trap was killed. With my very eyes, I saw him crushed in that monster's maw. So many lives lost, such terrible carnage. You say there's someone else who would lead? Wasn't Han in his stead? Whoever they are, if they say anything to sully the memory of our beloved trap, I'll make them regret it. Alright, that's, that's everyone. Look, 
Someone's coming. People of Razathan, it warms my heart to see so many brave, resilient souls before me. Today, I would share with you a great revelation. But before I do, I must make a humble request. Do not be alarmed, nor avert your eyes. See the one I unveil for who he is, and know that he means you no harm. Very well. I dare say it can't be worse than the horrors we've already seen. Many thanks. A dragon! Oh, I'm so proud wow. of him. All the kids love him. As the Sartrap's ally I am known. Today, I would reveal the truth unto you. Let us hope they accept him. I think they will. I have faith. If I am hearing this right, you were the satrap all along? Vashan! I mean... Master Vitra... The, the, does your divine eye really see all? Nay, child. While my eye hath borne witness to the whole of our nation's history, to its future I am. and loved ones have been taken from us. I, too, have lost my closest confidants. Ahawan loved this land and served it with dignity till his dying breath. A nobler satrap there will never be. For so long, I lacked the courage to face you. I will not easily earn your trust. This I know. And yet, I cannot sit idly by and abandon Radzatan to her fate. A font of boundless vibrancy, this jewel of the ocean. Since time immemorial, has she glittered with every color imaginable. To this dragon, Slumbering in his dark lair, t'was a mesmerizing sight, and one. Oh, I skipped it. I'm so sorry. This calamity has stolen too much from you already. Yet so long as you live, the light of Radzatan will never be extinguished. I pray you let me watch over it, over you. I do not know you, dragon, but I thank you for speaking the truth to us.
as divinities, both Manusha and Riga once joined together, so too do I believe that hand in hand, we can overcome this ordeal and welcome an era of peace. A sight that would have surely brought a smile to his ale's face. Stop. Indeed. No! Go away! Excuse me, but I must speak with the Sartrap at once. Father! You have suffered dearly of late, yet you must endeavor to look beyond these losses to the future you yet have. On behalf of the Forum of Charlian, I come with a proposal by which you, the people of Radzat Han, might be saved. I say again, I must speak with your Satrap. I beseech you, take me to him with all possible haste. You're looking at him. I am Satrap here. Speak thy proposal. All present shall hear and judge. If I have given offense, then I apologize. First, allow me to share with you what knowledge we have of the phenomenon responsible for your woes. The final days. It is an affliction of stagnancy and rot, sown into the currents of the star. Though the first prominent manifestation was here, in Thavnir, it will invariably spread to every corner of the world. The Forum was forewarned of this apocalypse several centuries ago. Thenceforth, my predecessors sought to prepare for the end times in the only conceivable fashion, by securing a means of escape. Escape this star? What madness is this? It is by no means madness. With the coming of the seventh umbral calamity, the true nature of the red moon Dalamud was revealed. That it was an artificial construct of ancient Alag. But what of the silver moon? Hmm. This celestial satellite is yet another technological marvel fashioned and maintained by ancient allies a ship that will sail the heavens and deliver our people from destruction and by our people i speak not only of charlian we mean to save every man woman and child it is within our power to save including you our dear friends of radzat han recent events Necessitate adjustments be made, and quickly, but we can and will escort you safely to the moon. Long has thy forum been allies to Thavnir. I trust thou dost not extend this offer lightly. Yet I wonder, is this truly the way? Is there a future to be built for us beyond this star? Our father deemed the last bastion of hope. It is for that very reason I come before you and your people. To answer any and all of your questions. To offer my assurances and allay your fears. Though, if you wish the best for your people, I advise you to render your decision swiftly.
Whatever decision is reached, your paths shall be yours to decide. Until then, heed the warning of these brave heroes. Guard your hearts against fear and despair, for it is within such fertile soil that the seeds of blasphemy find purchase. Remain calm and attend to your daily tasks. I shall return anon. We'll do as you say, Master Vitra. We believe in you. Aww. Me sticking my middle finger up at them like fuck you, Forum. Ganhana, hi. What's up? Oh, you're still here. What a relief. Nidana, what's the matter? Has something happened at Palaka Stand? Oh no, not that I know of. I just hope to hear your thoughts on a theory of mine. All who undergo the transformation are drained of their ether, yes? What is it then that gives these beasts the strength to carry on as they do? Logically, they must be drawing upon an alternate form of vital energy. That put me in mind of our earlier conversation when I tried to explain the essence which many confuse with ether. Akasha, yes, I remember. The unseen gift bestowed from on high. An energy influenced solely by emotion. Oh! <gasps> yes, yes. In this instance, negative ones set Akasha into motion, thereby infusing the beasts with vitality. I posit this as the mechanism by which the beasts are born and sustained. I see. Ah, do you still have that flower? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I have. It's, it's it's in my pocket, safe and secure. Oh, uh, uh. <gasps> oh. If we accept that it once shone bright by drawing upon Akasha, influenced by the thoughts of those nearby, my flower. Kindly gave her it to me. Then fear, terror. Despair, negative emotions so powerful as to suffocate it, permeated the air in this place. You must be very careful. The forces which drive the final days may be beyond our ability to perceive. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you like that. At any rate, I will continue my research into Akasha. Do temper your expectations, however. There are sadly few detailed studies upon which I may draw. Formulating a new theory as you have is itself no small feat. I wish you well in your endeavors and pray you take care. I'm gonna knock on Heidelin's door like... Like, knock, knock, Heidelin. I have questions. Thank you. You stay safe as well, yes? Till next we meet. And we will meet again. Hmm. As far as we have come, and after all the horrors we have seen, there's still so much we do not know about the final days. Could it be as Nidhana said, that the cause of this phenomenon is beyond our com uh, comprehension? And if so, are we powerless to forestall it? God, I hope not. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here, and the next episode we will, I don't know, see, see what our next course of action is. So until then, take care. <laughs>